Do we really mean what we say? Let's go back to 1840. That was the year when this congregation was formed, you will remember. 1840. But I'm not going to talk about this congregation for a moment. I'm going to read from the journal of Richard Ward, who was a minister. And he preached on Friday the 8th of November at Pontvine. You know where Pontvine is. It's in the Cadillac Valley. And this is what he says. At the time of preaching, the chapel was crowded to excess. A powerful time in preaching and a wonderful and surprising work in the prayer meeting. How many were converted, I cannot tell. Many were weeping, others singing, others praying, others filled with joy, praising God for what he had done for them. Others overwhelmed with the power of God lay on the floor for a considerable time and then rose up praising the Lord and exhorting others to seek the Lord. Men, women and children are engaged in this great work. Two days later on the Sunday, in the morning preached at Pontvine to a large congregation. Many wept. The Lord visited us. In the afternoon at Bronagarth, we had a quickening time. The grace of God streamed down Hearts melted, tears flowed abundantly, and many rejoiced in the Lord and found it good to be there. At night at Pontvine, a powerful time in preaching, one man near the door fell on his knees and began to weep and pray, and several others were weeping. And that's the sort of Christian literature that I grew up reading. And then I felt the Lord called me to the ministry. And I thought, if I go to a minister's training college, that's what it's going to be like. Because I expected men called to the ministry to be living that sort of life and having that sort of meeting. And I said to myself, I'm not ready for it. I cannot do it. I would be like a fish out of water. I haven't got that zeal, that holiness, that urgent craving for God to work in my life and rightly or wrongly I didn't go and so we say we want revival that was revival and so I say do we really want it I didn't at that stage part of me did and part of me didn't and that's why I say, who can stand? Or at least Malachi said, who can stand? I had to look at that and say, I can't face it. And so I didn't. 